One of my most favorite beds that I've ever built is this mid-century farmhouse bed. I had to build nightstands. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. I designed these nightstands with the same mid-century vibe, but I wanted them to be very functional and very comfortable. So they feature a nice large top, a large shelf, and then an easy to open drawer. I love this style because it complements the bed instead of competes with it. The best part is it's actually a pretty easy build. Watch this video and I'll show you how. If you're interested in building this nightstand, the plans are free and they're linked in the description. They're very detailed. So if I'm a little bit vague or you don't understand something by watching this video, make sure you read through the post and the plans. They are very detailed and we go over just about everything. I use plywood to uh, for the carcass of this project. And what I did is I ripped it first on a table saw into a 15 and a half inch width and then I cross cut it using my miter saw. Then I just uh, took the sides and blocked them out with some one by twos. This will help support both the face frame and the drawer slides in later steps. Notice I'm nailing this entire project together with one and a quarter inch nails. Um, it since you're not sitting on it, it's not like a project that needs a lot of structure. Nails are just fine and they're easy to hide and they're really inexpensive and fast and quick to drive. This is the top piece that I'm working on. So I just took the plywood piece that is the top and I framed it with one by twos. You don't need to do any edge banding on the plywood in this plan because um, all of the edges are covered with one by twos. And there's just that little cleat you saw me attach that kind of holds it in place. I'm not going to attach the top yet because I want to remove it to do the finish. Now for the drawer. So I measured the inside of the face frame for the drawer and I subtracted two and a half inches to get the front and the back of my drawer. The drawer sides are always equal to the drawer slide length, so in this case 16 inches. I just nailed the drawer box together, nailed on a quarter inch plywood bottom, and then attached the Euro drawer slide mounts to the one by two blocking. The drawer fit perfectly on the very first time. For the drawer face, I used a one by 10 set the one by 10 in place and tacked it with some one and a quarter inch nails and then finished screwing it off from the back to further secure it. After a good sanding, I stained it with golden oak, but it seemed a little orange to me. So I toned it with some white paint mixed with water. You don't want to get the wood too wet as it will create some movement. Just barely put a little bit of paint and water on it. You can see the difference. This also helped to blend the two different wood species. The plans for these nightstands and the matching bed are already live, so make sure you go check those out. And I'm also so happy with this collection. I'm already planning on adding some more pieces, so look out for that. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.